Java tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about dot design pattern. Uh, dot design pattern, first of all, you need to keep in mind that doesn't come under gang of four uh, design pattern. It comes under J2E design pattern. So let's try to understand what is dot design pattern. We'll understand all the concepts related to this design pattern. And then after we'll see uh, an example for better understanding. Yeah. So first of all, DAW stands for data access object. That's the full form of DAW. Now, when we talk about this design pattern, this design pattern is used to separate the data persistence logic in a separate layer. This way, the service remains completely in dark about how the low level operations to access the database is done. This is known as the principle of separation of logic, right? So just we segregate uh, doll layer or data persistence layer from service layer, right? So there is kind of abstraction between uh, service layer and doll layer. Now with doll design pattern, we have following component on which our design pattern depends. First, uh, we'll have a model class, uh, model class which is transferred from one layer to another layer, right? So we uh, sometimes we may need to read data from the database and after that we populate into the model uh, object and that model object may be transferred from one layer to another layer. Yeah. Now we have a DAW interfaces which provides flexible design. So rather than coding for a uh, concrete implementation, we'll do uh, coding for uh, uh, interfaces so that we can uh, follow the poly polymorphism. We can take advantage of polymorphism. Now, the interface implementation, which is a concrete implementation of persistence logic. So these are the components we have in a DAW layer design pattern, right? So let's uh, have a look into the example. So just to save some time, I have already created this project and here I'm going to explain each and every piece of the code, right? So let's start from the, let's, let's start from client program. This is my client program. And here you can see I have a beans.xml. There I have Basically, this is a, a Spring based application there. I have configured all required bean uh, a Spring bean, which is required in this application. So first of all, I have configured a data source, right? And here you can see uh, we required few property like driver, class name, URL, username and password, right? And these properties we are reading from the properties file. And that's what we have configured. One bean is called a uh, property placeholder configurer. And they are just I'm telling a Spring framework. Uh, here is my database dot properties file and here you can see these properties I have declared, right? Pretty simple. So first of all, I have configured a uh, data source and data source reading properties from properties file, right? Now I have a uh, basically service layer. So this is a concrete implementation employee service IMPL, which has a dependency on DAW layer. So if you look into this service layer, which implements this service interface, right and that has dependency on DAW layer so here if you look into the DAW, DAW is just I have uh, a reference of interface rather than concrete implementation a corresponding SETA method right and this uh, service layer uh, is making call to the DAW layer right to create to perform basically CRUD operation to create an employee get employee information based on the provided ID delete employee information from underlying database by passing employee ID to update email address of a specific employee by passing its email ID and fetch all the information uh, of the employee from database, right? So here we have a service which depends on the DAW layer. So that's what uh, uh, we have a setup based dependency injection. Now we have a DAW layer which has a dependency on JDBC template. If you look at the JDBC template, so this has dependency on JDBC template corresponding set and method we have and we have a different method to perform CRUD operation basically right so here we have a, a SQL query like select a star from employee where employee ID we are passing and we are making call to this method query for object which is in JDBC template we are passing SQL query and we are passing employee row mapper which basically ultimately implements row mapper and there uh, we are we are selecting uh, basically corresponding row from the database and, data, and that gets populated into employee. We are populating into employee object and same is getting returned. So this is basically callback method row map which basically called for every row in the database, right? 
and we have a, a there are some more methods like delete employee by id update employee by email address get all employee information and create employee right so create employee you can here you can see the insert query and we have uh, provided all this attribute in the same format right and see basically sequence should be the same right whatever whatever you can you provide in the delete query uh, sorry insert query now i i hope you understood each and every piece of the code i have almost explained to you right now uh, this is a kind of uh, basically a uh, daw uh, design pattern right so here you can see uh, we have a separate daw layer right we have a daw uh, daw uh, interface which basically uh, this is just interface and that uh, this interface is going to implement by implement by daw uh, employee daw impl right and this is the concrete implementation so we have segregated a uh, basically service layer from uh, service layer and uh, doll layer we have segregated right so there are a lot of advantage uh, if you code uh, in such a way right so like uh, while changing the persistence uh, layer service layer does not even uh, know uh, does not have to know uh, where the data comes from right for example if you are thinking of shifting from using mysql to uh, mongodb all the changes are needed to be done in the doll layer only right that's the first advantage second advantage doll pattern emphasize emphasize on uh, how coupling between uh, different uh, components uh, of an application right so the view layer have to uh, have no dependency on the doll layer right only service layer depends on it even that uh, with the interfaces not from concrete implementation so if you look into the service layer we have injected it's a uh, basically in service layer if you look in the service implementation here we have coded for interface not for uh, its concrete implementation right N when we talk about the next advantage uh, persistent logic is completely separate right it is much easier to write j unit tests for uh, individual components for example if you are using j unit and mockito for testing right so writing the j unit uh, test case would be much easier if you write a uh, 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 code in uh, such a such a loose coupling manner right now next uh, advantage uh, when uh, we work with the interfaces in the uh, pattern it also emphasize the style of uh, work uh, with interfaces instead of implementation which is an excellent oops, style of programming right so if you code for interfaces rather than its concrete implementation so that that, that means uh, you are uh, just taking advantage of polymorphism right so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys i hope you understood what's the basically dot design pattern that's comes under j2 design pattern not uh, not uh, in gang of four design pattern that you have to always keep in mind so that's all i have in this video tutorial i hope you enjoy learning this uh, i hope you enjoy learning this video as far as uh, this code concerned i will uh, upload code on the github and link you can get in the video description part itself guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial